So this is our wax sample. As you see, it's a white wax or a very light cream color. So I'm going to uh, put it down here. There we go. And we're going to then cut it open. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so peel it up here. I think that things are getting better. We chopped it open, our sample here. And we see no dendrites or crystallinity. So this is a very, very good sign that uh, this wax is very nice. Uh, usually, at this stage, there's maybe some crystallization, but there isn't any. So let's look at all our pieces. And amorphous throughout. So that's some good signs there. That's a good sign that going back to our old 1910 work magazine formula was a very good call. It, probably to the detriment or anger of some phonograph collectors and uh, experimentalists. But I imagine this would also make a good mastering disc formula. So if you make disc records, you can use this formula to make wax master discs that are fairly quiet. Uh, this is a good sign when it cuts like that. That means it's... And it's got a fairly high aluminum content of 0.41%. So... Maybe I was incorrect in my middle era of thinking that the the uh, formulas needed to be altered a little bit. Because there's nothing altering in this formula at all from the Work Magazine, except for the change of using Saracen per paraffin. I suppose our next experiment that we do, our next batch, we can use the exact amounts with paraffin and then do a comparison and see if it's noisier than Saracen or if it sounds good. And we could do another experiment using beeswax as, and then we can do durability tests and things like that. As you can see, you can go through experiments with these waxes ad infinitum. And uh, I could tell you I've made... <laughs> over 2,000 pounds of cylinders. Uh, not too many researchers can say that they've made that much wax. So this is pretty, pretty interesting stuff here. Our samples, we want no crystallization, which this does not have. A truly amorphous surface and a nice cut. Well, let's check the cut car properties of the little drill bit. We have some little tiny drill bits here. I don't know if there's any. Here we go. Got a little drill bit. Well, let's see. Take the the this end of the drill bit and see if it cuts. You see how nice you want a shaving that curls off of it. And that is precisely what it's doing. What's interesting is the fact that this has also a reduction in temper. I believe personally that temper adds noise. Uh, the more you put in it. So this only has uh, a little over 13% of Saracen in it. You know, I've checked this. We've all looked at this sample. It'll be on the internet and I'm going to not waste it. So it's going to go back into the batch. By the way, take a look at this big uh, amount of very nice bright white wax. Thank you.